survive. So for people to do this is like, how can we get justice for the people that lost their lives for just coming to get lunch? Right now we have the latest from Southern Arkansas, the latest on that mass shooting in Fordyce, which is 70 miles south of Little Rock. This morning, a gunman opened fire at a grocery store, killing three people and injuring 10 others, including two police officers. Police say the gunman acted alone and was injured in a shootout with police. The shooter now is in police custody, identified as 44-year-old Travis Eugene Posey. ABC's Tim Pulliam has the latest on this investigation. Terror and heartbreak ripping through this small town in Arkansas after a gunman opened fire at this local grocery store about 70 miles south of Little Rock. We are live here at Mad Butcher in Fordyce, and there is a shooting going on. Listen to the sound of gunfire as the violence played out. Witnesses capturing the horrifying scene on their cell phones. There's somebody lying in the parking lot, shot. Police say the shooting happened around 11.30 a.m. local time. Amaya Doherty was inside her car during the chaos. I heard like boom, boom, and then I looked and I thought it was fireworks. I seen a man with his groceries with some khaki shorts on and he just dropped back. And then I seen a man, he had, I think it was an AK, he had rounds and he was just shooting. Like he was shooting and I locked the door and I got real low. Hours after the shooting, officials providing an update. Unfortunately, we can confirm that 11 innocent civilians were shot and three of those are deceased. Victims' injuries range from non-life-threatening to critical, according to authorities. Arkansas State Police say two officers were also shot while exchanging gunfire with the gunman, who is now in custody. Police say the shooter and the two officers wounded all have non-life-threatening injuries. Investigators believe the suspect acted alone, but so far, police not saying what may have prompted their attack. Neighbors left shaken by this tragedy. This is something scary. This is something new, like for all of us. And if I come to Mad Butcher to get some lunch, I'm coming to get some lunch, not to be great about our lives. And the FBI and the ATF are assisting in the investigation into the shooter's motive. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles.